It's really an interesting thing because as Rainey said, you're minute by minute you are assessing risk, where regardless of where your journalists you know are. And at Jazeera, when I was at Fault Lines, we did stories all over the world. We went to Libya, we went to Colombia, we did stuff in Mexico, in, in conflict zones. The most dangerous story we did, the one where our reporters were most at risk, was in Ferguson hmm. because they were tear gassed. Oh, interesting. You know, they had masks with them. I mean, we had gear. They had bulletproof vests. They had helmets. Mm -hmm. we get, they get trained for that, by the way. You know, anytime we send a reporter to a hostile environment, they have to go through that training. I had to go through that training. So, you know, you, it can only prepare you for so much, but you do have the a sense of what you can do. Yeah. Um, and that's expensive, that training. So that's another thing it's to very think expensive. about. Yeah. Um, you know, but those are all things that to realize that, you know, journalism organizations do try to do things to really minimize risk. Sometimes the risk comes where you least expect it, but you should be prepared. And we were prepared in Ferguson, but it was just kind of astounding to me that at the end of the day, that really was where the, the physically they were most mm. in danger. That's yeah. amazing.